There we go. We'll move that over there. The thing with doing Pacanya, uh, I trimmed the fat cap down to a little over, uh, a little under a quarter inch. So that fat cap is just rendering out. And the uh, nature of this meat, it can take an absolute beating. I mean, beat down. This thing has smoked for two and a half hours, to almost three hours, about 150. Took it off, let it get ice, not cold, but room temperature. It sat three hours on the counter. Fire up the grill, I grilled it, I would say 20 minutes, okay? And you gotta keep turning it, gotta keep turning it. And you'll notice, it is That's perfect so from one side to the other. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. One side to the other. Yeah. The fat on the the fat on the cap is a different structure of fat, so it is incredibly tasty. Um, don't be afraid of that fat. In the pan <laughs> is uh, thyme and rosemary from my garden. Grass-fed butter that just melted yes. and kind of caramelized on the grill. Like the now I'm going to take this and let all these juices go in here. So I'm just going to baste it. Yes. What kind of meat is it? Pecanya. Pecanya. Like picante sauce, but... Ever since I started being on the Would you say typically it's a South American style? Or yeah, who, a, who uses it most? Uh, Latin America. Okay. Huh. Mm -hmm. um, I usually see a lot at the Brazilian steakhouses and a few okay. places, but it's just an amazing... Uh -huh. Huh. <laughs> Say ah, yo. All right, who's next? Why not? <laughs> wow. So the butter and the thyme, you can smell it, right? You can smell it, but that so, flavor. Now, if you want a little more done, you're like, well, I don't like the red, the blood. There's no blood. Stop. No blood. It's just, it's just red. <laughs>